Well, it has been a minute, way too long. And it is already spring, but we took a little break. And we are here better than ever. Expanded quite a bit. I have some interesting, actually exciting things going on. But however, let's introduce you to Willy Boy. Hi, Willy Boy. Hi. <laughs> Hi! He's one of our new additions to the farm. We got him as a bottle calf, so uh, we bottle fed him for about eight weeks. It was uh, interesting. He did have uh, another one with him, but unfortunately, that calf had passed away. Um, he had a couple seizures and Chris wasn't, uh, he wasn't meant to be, I guess. So now this guy is alone. Um, we are going to do this every year. So probably next year we'll make sure to get two. Or if something happens, we'll uh, replace them because I think they get kind of lonely. This is uh, our pasture, which is not done, but it keeps Willie in for now. So I'm quite happy about it. And here's the kids. Say hi. <laughs> so I think the most exciting thing going on at Bernie's farm, well, first of all, I've probably hatched about 70 chicks, um, turkey bolts, and, um, Quail since I, I last even took a video. It's been insane. I've sold a few, but for the most part, they're they're here at the farm. And some of the ones that we hatched that you may have seen earlier, around January, February, they are almost matured. And um, you can tell the roosters from the hens. So anytime those hens should be uh, laying their eggs. And I do have some Easter eggers and all of eggers in there. So we're expanding the colors. Now, it's a bit of a mess because we had to uh, makeshift this. So, most exciting thing going on at the farm is our Miss Roxy is pregnant and she's having her babies any day now. So she is a miniature Juliana and she is full grown. So this is as big as these little ones will get. Um, we have our sister Juliet. She's also pregnant, but she is not due until probably next week. And then our two boys that have been Quite the handful since these ladies have been pregnant, but this is uh, the most exciting thing that we've been dealing with. Uh, we had some false labor a couple times. I thought she was going to have the babies on the weekend. It's now Tuesday and we're still here. So I do plan on showing some pretty graphic um, documentation on her birthing process because it, it is pretty cool and we are pretty excited about it. Her milk hasn't came in but she does have her milk line now and her teats have been getting um, larger. She has also began this nesting behavior where she'll like push the hay and stuff around kind of make a little nest for herself. So that is something very, very exciting. Here's our quail. We only have three of these little guys right now. Um, a couple of them escaped and they fly quite fast. So they're just hanging out on the farm, doing their own thing. We're fine with it. So I guess that is my little update. Um, we get married in October, so we're actually having the sagging dough in a couple weeks on our farm. 
and uh, we're doing something called chicken poop <laughs> bingo so that should be pretty fun I'm gonna try um, doing more vlogs vlogs and updating more on Bernie's farm I know after some of the wedding stuff gets done we are going to be uh, cleaning up around here and doing a lot more we're just busy 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 and we're um, gotta do what we gotta do actually I have to show you these before. there's some chicks and then there's some baby quail and they are just adorable so that is it for now you can say hi to Bruno he's our jerk in the barn that's why we call him Bruno it's literally we don't talk about Bruno because he's just brutal um, that's it Hopefully next time we'll have some baby piglets and I'll keep on updating on Bernie's farm. See you next time.